Hey everyone, welcome to Bricks and Bytes. Today is all about science and learning how things work. So if you guys like physics or chemistry or anything in between, grab your Lego and let's go. Hey everyone, how are you going? It's Ben and Emma here from the City of Mary Libraries. Great to be with you for another week of Bricks and Bytes. So today's show, like we said, is all about science and learning how things work. Um, we have a special guest, Simon from Silly Science with uh, Silly Science <laughs> with Simon. Tongue twister. <laughs> so Simon has, has shared a really great video with us. Um, I'm going to show you uh, a little bit of physics and how to make kinetic models out of Lego. And uh, Emma, what are you looking at today? We're going to take a a really close look at how things work through a really cool app. Wow, like it. sounds exciting. That's <laughs> awesome. Okay, well, to kick off our um, our episode today, we're going to do our five minute frenzy. Um, if you haven't done a five minute frenzy, bef frenzy before, um, all you need is some Lego and you can join us. So um, in this cup, we have some suggestions from you about what you'd like us to build and we'll just have five minutes to build that. Now we don't know what's in here, so when we pick, it's gonna be a surprise for us, and then we're going to put a time on the clock and we have five minutes <laughs> to test our Lego building skills, and we'd love to see uh, if you can join along with us as well, so you can build at home. Okay, so uh, let's check out, uh, who do you wanna to pick Should today? Pick? Okay. Let's have a look. Ooh. This one's interesting, a box of chocolates. What? That's very specific. <laughs> very specific, <laughs> very specific. okay. All right. A box of chocolates. Okay, so we're gonna put uh, five minutes on the clock. So um, yeah. let's- are we, are we ready for our five minutes to begin? Uh, yeah, okay, let's do <laughs> right. our five minutes, okay. Let's go. All right, box of chocolates. <laughs> <laughs> That's a Ooh. really, really specific challenge. Hmm. I guess we could start by making a box, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. How do you make a box, man? Uh, <laughs> square shape, squares, right? Squares, rectangle. Um, right. I don't know, unless you've got, you know, Ooh. like a special box. <laughs> I don't want to, you know, like. How tricky can we get? I can't make circular things. Ben can. He showed us how a couple weeks ago. All right, I'm going to try and do maybe like a... Well, I mean, is that maybe that's the other thing? Like, yeah, we we'll have to make the chocolates too. So yeah. don't, so you know, don't make your box too big because otherwise you're gonna fill it up. <laughs> I'm going for it. Oh, no. <laughs> make a giant box. All right, I'm liking it. Sort of size. What's your favorite chocolate? If you could have any chocolate, mm. any any time, what would it be? I love white chocolate oh. and coconut. Coconut? Mixed mm. together, maybe. White chocolate and coconut chocolate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <White. laughs> okay. It's like coconut bits in the chocolate. Right, right, right. Yeah. What about you? I, um, <laughs> I, I really like the, um, the old gold rum and raisin chocolate. Oh. So it's just, I don't know. It's some people have a thing about raisins. Yeah, they're not great. <laughs> <laughs> so harsh. It's just the truth. Mm. Oh, if you like, if, you, make this look good, hey? if you like raisins, please let us know. Yeah, someone side with Ben. <laughs> <laughs> of course, if you're tuned in and uh, you're on Facebook, you can leave a comment, and we uh, we'll, we might be to see that later on. We'd love to see what your thoughts are about chocolates. And about our building. <laughs> <laughs> we always like to see who you think did a good job and who did an interesting 
Mr. Singer. <laughs> <laughs> I feel I'm spending too much time just on the lid. We're halfway. What? I haven't got a lid. My lid just be like oh. that. There we go. Nice. I didn't even think about not doing a lid. <laughs> 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 Maybe this will just be the bottom of the box then. Maybe I'll just you know, like flip it upside down. I'm just trying to make my box look pretty. <laughs> what do chocolates look like? Are they just, can I just, they're just a bunch of bricks? <laughs> <laughs> they can be whatever you want. <laughs> So look, I've got like there's this hinge piece like like this, but I, can't find, I don't know where they're part of it. We've got a whole random array, so it's very likely that it doesn't exist in this box. Yeah, like if I was going to have like an open box, that's sort of what I'd want. Okay. Alright, I'm just going for it. Just, <laughs> you can do it. Yeah. Uh, they look stuck, guys. I'm, I'm trying to find a, a hinge to open and close this. Oh, you're getting tricky. <laughs> you can do whatever you want. Okay, we've got, we've got like a minute left on this. Yeah. Um, I need more brown. There we go. Yeah, I, I feel like my chocolates are, are going to be just like a, oh. like a pile of pile of bricks as well. But let's keep going. Uh, <laughs> Time moves so quickly, guys. <laughs> when you're under pressure. It really does. Okay, well I'm gonna chuck some. Okay. Oh no, we've got 30 seconds. 30 okay. seconds? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Okay, quick. I'm not ready. I need to. Why ah. can't I find a thing just to. Maybe. Oh, maybe I that's the like trick. I'm just oh going no. to. I'm going to cheat. Oh, guys. Why? Why? Mm. 14 seconds. So nervous. Wait. No. Okay. Um. Um, I need a box. I'm touching chocolates in. Quick. <laughs> Three, two, one. Uh, oh no! Um, <laughs> that oh, is our no. time. <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay. All right, Emma. <laughs> uh, Emma, let's have a look at yours Can you first. Look at mine? Yeah. All right. This is what I've got. So I did a box, but I thought I'd make it more fun. So I've put like flowers. So it's a fancy box, and then I've just put a whole bunch of different chocolates. So you got a circle one there. That's probably a truffle. Ooh. <laughs> um, oh, so you've actually got different gone, flavors. You actually made yeah. really nice the chocolates. The inside of the box. Uh. You know those fancy ones? I mean, there's that saying that life is a box of chocolates, <laughs> and I've got flowers, which are life. <laughs> so I have life <laughs> in the box of chocolates. Does that count? I, th I like that. Okay. I got creative. I do like yours. Okay. <laughs> Let's have a look at mine. I. Oh, no. <laughs> it's falling apart. <laughs> I was trying to do like a lid. Ooh, that is impressive. It looks, uh, but the lid is not attached, and I just had to chuck some pieces in there like <laughs> that as my chocolates. They're a bit loose. Maybe they went, they were in the car, and they just yeah. It's good. I like go. the curved lid. It's like a chest, a treasure chest. Yeah, well, that was the idea. Was but I couldn't find a hinge. So it's what happens when you have a crazy box of Lego. You gotta get creative. <laughs> 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 okay well i hope uh, that you've built something well, we'd love to see your box of chocolates if you do build something make sure you come into our um, facebook group uh, facebook.com slash groups slash bricks and bites and you can uh, share your photos in there we would love to see them okay well now it is time for our special guest um, Simon from Silly Science with Simon. Um, Simon has a really cool YouTube uh, channel with heaps of awesome videos. So um, if you want to have a look at them, check uh, his YouTube video out. But let's see what he's got for us today. Hi everyone at Bricks and Bites. I'm Simon from the Silly Science with Simon YouTube channel. My channel has a heap of super fun science activities that you can try at home and new videos are added every second Saturday. I studied science at university and wanted to make science fun for kids. I filmed my first video last year using my phone and a $30 tripod. I taught myself how to edit videos by watching lessons on YouTube. Ben and Emma have asked me to share one of my favorite videos with you today. So grab some snacks. 
and get ready for my video on making oobleck that dances and glows in the dark. This video is all about oobleck and things might get a little bit messy. Oh no. But that's okay because it's easy to clean up with a warm bowl of soapy water. Are you ready? Then let's get science. Let's start by making some oobleck. To do this, you will need a mixing bowl, measuring cups, a spoon, corn flour, water, and food coloring. Pour two cups of corn flour into the mixing bowl. Measure out a cup of water and add about 20 drops of food coloring. Slowly add about half of this water to the corn flour and give it a really good stir. Then add about half of the remaining water to the corn flour and give it another good stir. Keep adding a little bit of water until your mixture looks like this. I used a bit over three quarters of my cup of water. It's hard if I hit it with the spoon, but runny if I tip the bowl from side to side. And there it is, a bowl of oobleck. Now it's time to get your hands messy. But don't worry, this comes straight off using some warm water or a t-shirt. You probably found the oobleck really hard to stir. Try hitting it with your hand. It feels solid, just like this block of ice. But when you tip the bowl from side to side, it looks like a liquid. Just like this bowl of green water, oobleck is a non-Newtonian fluid. Applying a force to the oobleck increases its viscosity, which means it flows really slowly and becomes more like a solid. For comparison, this is what it looks like if we apply that same force to a liquid. But when no force is applied to the oobleck, its viscosity decreases, which makes it flow faster and be more like a liquid. You can see this by dropping a marble into the oobleck and watching it in slow motion. When it hits the oobleck, it applies a force which makes the oobleck solid. It sits on the surface for a short time until the force decreases and then it begins to sink. Let's compare this to dropping a marble into water. This also works for other things like mini figs, Pokemon and ancient forms of communication. You can even drop some oobleck into the oobleck. In my ultimate guide to lava lamps, I use tonic water to make a lava lamp that glows under a UV light. I wonder if I can do the same for this oobleck. Awesome! The oobleck is glowing bright blue. I've kept the recipe exactly the same, but used tonic water instead of regular water. Only an adult should do this part of the experiment, and they should wear gloves and only use the UV light for a few minutes because it can cause sunburn. The coolest thing to do with the oobleck is to make it dance with a speaker and some loud music. Cover an old speaker with glad wrap and use something to weigh down the middle of the speaker. Add some masking tape around the edges and then pour in some of your oobleck. Let's turn the music up and get the oobleck dancing. Whoa, look at it dancing. Now let's look at it at night time. Awesome. I've added some tips for doing this part of the experiment in the description below. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you have a heap of fun making some oobleck and I'll see you soon for more Silly Science with Simon. And that's one of my videos. I've got a heap of other videos on YouTube that you can watch. Just search for Silly Science with Simon. And don't forget that National Science Week is coming up this month. Thanks for having me on Bricks and Bites. Back to you, Ben and Emma. Thank you, Simon. That video was awesome. Well done, Simon. Loved seeing everything that you did there with the dancing oobleck. It was fantastic. Great. So um, next up, we're going to uh, look at these kinetic models made out of Lego. So let's, uh, let's jump into that. Okay, so <laughs> as we were saying before, we're going to talk about... Um, you know, a bit like Simon's video where he was doing that dancing oobleck, we've got uh, a jumping Lego and we were using kinetic energy to make that happen. So I'm going to show you a little model that I've made. And these are, this is pretty simple. If you've got the parts at home, you only need a handful of parts. So let's have a look at that. Okay, so here's our model. And you can see that when I turn this wheel here, a little Lego spaceman is jumping up and down. So let's have a look at what's going on here. So I'm gonna take the front off. All right, so in here, you can see 
as I turn, this little axle down the bottom pushes the Lego man up and it comes down. So gravity will help him drop. So I'm putting force or I'm putting energy into it to make him go up. And then as I take this support away from him, he's going to fall back down towards the ground. So that's gravity pulling him down. So as I lift him up, at this height, we call that potential energy because he's going to drop down if we take away the support. So you can see it drops back down. So you can use this in a few different ways. So let's have a look at what's going on and what sort of parts you need for this. So we're going to take, first we'll take him off and we'll look at the sides here. Okay. So with this, we've got just a couple of bricks. I can't really see it against my shirt. There we go. So a couple of these bricks with these Technic holes in them. And that's what we're going to feed this Technic, Technic axle through. Oop. There we go. And then we'll put a little lift arm on there and that is what pushes the Lego man up and down. All right, I've just got a little, little bush there just to help space it out. And then we just put that together. Very simple. And then with this part at the end, we just put this two by two round piece, round brick, and that goes up and down, okay? So that's quite simple. Next, we have this little construction here, which is just another one of these two by two round pieces with a tile on top. And that's going to sit on here and move up and down, okay? And then we've got one of these axles, but this axle has a little stud on top so we can connect a little Lego person there. So that feeds through a brick, or oh sorry, a plate that has these Technic holes in it. Okay, so you'll need this specific plate. And then on top is just a round modified tile there. Okay, so we can drop this down through there, stick this in there like that. So we can push up and down. And we're going to reattach it. So as you can see, you don't need too many parts. And this sort of mechanism you can see in some uh, Lego builds. Probably um, one of the more recent ones was um, a dragon dance set where there's people holding a dragon. It moves up and down. And it's the same sort of mechanism, just pushes up and down like that. Okay, so with that, you could make you could have heaps of these. You could have all sorts of things. I'm going to show you a little project that we've been working on today. Uh, similar sort of mechanism, but we have a, uh, a Stormtrooper DJ. Check out our Stormtrooper <laughs> with his decks and his music pad. And when you twist the axle, here we go, he's playing... <laughs> He's playing his decks, how cool is that? So same sort of mechanism, I'll just open up the front for you. And you can see, in this case, I've got two of those lift arms going up and down. All right. Woohoo! All right, so there we go. Some fairly simple kinetic models. Um, there's plenty um, of different models you can find online as well. If you have a bit of a look um, in our Facebook group, I'll post some links to show you some other examples and some instructions of when you can, uh, where you can learn how to build more things with Technic. Um, so there we go. A little bit of fun for our build. Very cool. I like it. He's a cool dude. <laughs> He's a cool dude <laughs> with his decks. All right. Excellent. Okay. But now it is time to hear about our app of the week. So over to you, Emma. Cool. So today we're looking at an app called Jigspace. And Jigspace uses augmented reality, which we've looked at before. It's really, really cool. It's basically bringing things that aren't real <laughs> into your reality through an iPad or a phone. So it's similar to virtual reality, which is where you put glasses on and you're in a different world, but this is augmented. So it's bringing it into your world through the iPad. So we're going to have a look. It's very sciencey and you guys will love it. So let's get on to the iPad and here we go. So Jigspace is right there at the bottom. So I'm going to hit that and we'll open up and so you can see there's all these different things in here so these are called jigs and these 
when you open up are going to bring one of these things into the real world and you're going to be able to have a real close look at it. So there's a whole bunch in here. There's stuff about machines. There's ones about science, how to do things, all kinds of stuff. You can, and it just pulls it apart and lets you see all about it. So we're going to look at the solar system today. Um, so I'm going to open that up and hit go. And then that'll start loading our jig. And so when you're using AR, you need a camera, obviously, but you need it to pick up a really good space. So you usually need a bit of an open area. So this is just in the library and you can see it's blue and it's telling me that it's all good to place it there. If I was against something that wasn't flat, it's not gonna let me. So I make sure it's blue and I click. And then just by pinching the screen, I can make our solar system, which is now in the library, big. And it's like, I'm in the solar system. So then it's gonna talk me through all kinds of stuff about the solar system, but you can see it. I can literally see all the planets around and the way that they sit next to the sun, the size that they are, all that kind of stuff. And as we flick through all the different slides they're called, you can see even more. So here we go. We're gonna have a look. There's the sun. So it's gonna give me a whole heap of information about the sun. And as we keep going, there's Mercury and I can get up and move over there and look closer. As I'm walking around in the real world, I'm getting closer to all these planets and finding out more and more and more about them. So there's heaps of information in here and you can see the different sizes of the planets as they are to scale. So Jupiter's huge, Saturn's got the rings around it, Uranus has a lot of moons there, it's crazy. It even includes Pluto at the end, thank goodness. So yeah, that's the kind of things that Jig Space does. So you've brought this into the world, it's like I'm in space looking close up at all of these planets. And then I can zoom it back out. You can see we're still in the library. We haven't actually gone to outer space and I'll head back out. And so we'll have a look at another one. They're constantly updating and putting more and more Jigs into this app. So this is one about coronavirus, which obviously we've heard a lot about but it actually will let us look more into what coronavirus is and what forms the actual virus so sometimes the loading can take a little bit you just have to be a bit patient and then here we go I'll tap and then there we have our little coronavirus <laughs> it looks a lot less scary like this <laughs> but you can see as we flick through it's going to give us a whole lot of information about how it came about and then you can look inside and you can move closer and look around and learn about what actually makes up the virus which is really cool I think and then the last thing I want to show you is the Lego stuff that's here so it's going to teach us how to build a fighter a Star Wars fighter which is pretty awesome there's a couple of these in there and it literally takes you through step by step how to build it's like if Ben didn't exist <laughs> So you can do this at home easily. It shows you what pieces you need and you just go through step by step and you can see exactly how to build a Lego fighter. So we're just gonna go through. It shows you how to do the wings. You can spin it around just using your finger. You can zoom in. You can go back a step if you go too far. And then there we go. There's our little Lego mini fighter. It's pretty cool. So there's heaps of this kind of stuff on Jig Space um, and they're constantly putting more and more. There's, you can look inside an eyeball, you can look inside the earth, you can see how a lightsaber works, all kinds of stuff. It's pretty awesome. And yeah, you bring it into your real world and have a real close look at it. So that's Jig Space. It uses AR, which is really cool. There's a whole bunch of AR apps out there. I wish I could show you them all, but this is just one, and this one's super sciencey, and you actually get to learn a little bit how things work. Yeah, is, I like it. Yeah. That's really cool. And you like so when Emma was looking at the solar system, was it like she was touching the screen? You're actually moving the mm. iPad to, yeah, to navigate, you and you walk around. Physically walk around and move, which is really cool. Yeah, feel, it, honestly, if you look through the iPad, it feels like you're there. Yeah, that's so cool. Yeah. Very, very <laughs> cool. If you've tried any augmented reality stuff out, we'd love to know as well. So you can come and have a chat about augmented reality in our Facebook group. Uh, we'd love to find out what apps you like to use as well. Okay, well. 
<laughs> thanks yep. for joining us for another episode <laughs> of Bricks and Bites. Um, big thanks to Simon from Silly Science with Simon for his fantastic video and showing us how to make oobleck. Oh my goodness. I wonder if there are any parents out there you don't mind a bit of a, a messy <laughs> kitchen. Yes. Check out his other videos too. They're really cool. He does some really awesome science-y things. Yeah. It's fantastic. We had a lot of fun watching them. <laughs> <laughs> if you make a kinetic model like like these, we'd love to see those as well. Um, like I said, we'll put, post some instructions on how to make those. And uh, yeah, definitely check out Jigspace if you've got an iPad and you want to try out some augmented reality. So... Thanks for joining us and we will see you next week. See ya. See ya.